Okay, so welcome to Movie Clean and the new Pro version which will be a available very soon. So let's have a look at what Movie Clean Pro can do for you. So the new Movie Clean, Movie Clean Pro uh, has a lots of new features. Um, in the standard features you'll see first of all you select the file folder where you published your files to and in this case we've got it as test 99 so we'll just show you how you select the folder so you just go and select the folder from folder list it's that simple so that's well that's where we've published our mobilize files and we can see them there there's the files from our mobilize site we've just used the basic page names there just to just for this demo okay so uh, then in addition you can select what you want to replace um, mobilize.com with when it finds it in certain areas and in our case we're going to call Microsoft 2 um, you can also what is the name of your site to replace in the various engine areas etc and obviously we're using our name here and if it finds a email link that says support at movierise.com what do you want to replace with so that would be your site email address um, and you can decide whether you want to replace them or not by just checking the box um, replacing all other movierise.com links that it finds now this is a prototype um, if for example you've created your navbar and you've forgotten to uh, take out a link to movierise.com on the navbar or on an image or whatever you can get it to replace all those with your own link um, and that is optional and if you select that option you will see you get a warning to say this is a prototype so you need to be aware that, that you know of what changes it makes okay so we're going to select that now we're going to select all the options for this demo okay so now in the additional options you've got the option to have a little uh, message at the top of each page after the program has finished to say that it's been cleaned by Moby Clean or if you don't want the message uh, put on the top of the page then you just leave that unchecked um, you can also add an additional comment on your on each page and you just enter what you want as the additional comment there if you don't want it you just uncheck the box um, there's also a bonus feature on this on the pro version um, and that is where you can select to output the changed files so any files that have been edited or scanned can be put into a different folder to where you've published your original files the only thing you need to be aware is that once you then publish the files to your website you'll need to publish your original folder first to make sure you get all the other files that have not been scanned by MobiClean and then upload the changed files and that option you can switch on or off so if you switch it off then all the files in your original published folder will be automatically edited uh, if you switch it on then they will be placed in a different folder before they're edited okay so that's the bonus feature then in the pro options you have lots of options you can add some new tags to the top of the page you can add an author tag if you don't want to add the author tag then you just uncheck it um, so you can add the author tag you can add a language to the end of the HTML tag again if you don't want it you just uncheck it you can add a prefix tag to the end of the HTML tag if you wish and if you've selected the language tag as well then the both will be added to the HTML tag you can add a subject meta tag to the top of the pages and you can add a copyright meta tag to the top of the pages if required once again if you don't want any of those you just uncheck them 
The next option is to add meta tags to the top of the page to prevent the pages being cached, which is useful if you're using dynamic um, content or you're changing your pages very regularly. Um, and then it will add, uh, it will stop the browser from caching the pages, so it will have to reread the page every time the user visits the page. If you don't want to add those tags, then you, again you just uncheck it. You can get it to attempt to replace all the version numbers that you find in the that Movie Rise adds around the place. And all you need to do is add what current version of Movie Rise you're using in this box and what you want it to replace it with in the second box. And if you just want it to remove it, then you leave the second box blank. And again, if you don't want it to attempt to do that, then you just uncheck it. And then finally, you've got the option to replace various words that appear in the engine tag with a, a phrase of your choice. Um, so there are the options there for the four different variations of the of the um, tags. And again, if you don't want it to do that, then you just uncheck the boxes. Okay, so once you've made all your selections, you're ready to start the process. So you've published your files. In this case, we've published them to test 99. So then to start the process, it's quite simple. Just click Start Process. Now, as you know, we, we said we want them uh, all the change files to be put into test a different folder and we call it test 101. So it's now processing all the files. It's also telling us how many replacements it's going to make and it's telling us where it's going to output the changed or scanned files to. So far it's found 969 replacements, it's gone up now to 993, and it's well over a thousand now. Now you can imagine if you did this manually to clean up your code, it would take you ages to do 1000 and or 1200 different edits in, in your page code. But the program's doing it all automatically for you. Okay, we're nearly there. And it's now finished and we have made, and it's made 1236 replacements. Now, if we have a look at the files Remember, the, these are only the changed or scanned files. So you'll see that if we have a look at index, the index page, it's made the changes. It's added the language tag that we asked it to, to the uh, HTML tag, and it's also added the prof prefix. It's added the cache control to stop the pages being cached, because we asked it to do that in this particular instance. It's added the author meta tag, the copyright meta tag, meta tag, and the subject meta tag. It's also changed the Mobirize or site made by Mobirize to now site made by us. We did we told it to leave the code cleaned um, tag in, so it's done that. And it's added the extra comment that we asked it to at the top of each page. Okay, it's also changed the generator to us. Um, and now if we go further down, you will see that all the tags that were left as movie rights, it's changed to ours um, because we didn't change any of the navbar tags from uh, in, in our demo. So let's change all those to our tag. And the engine tag has been changed to us and the mobilized comments been removed and so has all the version numbers. So everything has been changed as we asked it to. Then if we look at one further option, the 
in the one of the scripts there's a script that adds the Mobiurize engine tags if uh, they're not on the page and so we've the program has modified that script and it's replaced that with us so the engine will now put details of us our site in the engine if it rewrites the engine tag so everything has been done for us which is a lot quicker than doing it all manually okay so that's the, the pro version and that will be available very soon um, so keep watching for details of when it's available I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and uh, I look forward to your use of MobiClone MobiClean Pro. Thanks for watching. Take your dream.